Welcome back to Suvida Everything, guys. As you can see, I have a new toy. Check it out! <laughs> and I'm gonna let you know everything there is to know about it. Check it out. All right, everybody, so this is the grill gun, as you can see here. You know, it's very nice. At the same time, it uses the small propane tank like you saw it. There's the trigger button, very easy to turn it on, which I'm gonna turn it on in a little bit for you guys to explain. But before we do that, as you guys are familiar with, I normally use my regular flamethrower, which is this big, huge monster thing, uh, which is great, you know, it works just fine but you have to hook up with the big, big propane tank, and then you gotta light it up. It's a heavy thing, it's not portable. There's not a lot of things that you can use it for because you think twice when you are using something like this because it's a lot of work to do and you have to be committed because it's a huge propane tank. This one is a completely different thing, but hold on, let me get the other one. This is my regular flamethrower that you guys see me using it all the time in the office. The only way I was able to use the real deal, which is this one here, flamethrower in the office, is because somebody custom built this for me. And it works great, don't get me wrong, it does work, but you know, there is no trigger on it. I have to turn it on manually every single time. Turn it on, it works okay. But at the same time, you will never be able to get this one, everybody, because it was custom built by one of my subscribers to me, which is I am extremely appreciative. All right, everybody, so this is the grill gun. It was actually designed for the grill so that you can light up charcoal, but now we are able to use for sous vide. So it is pretty simple to operate. You can put in a small propane tank. There, it comes with a big hose as well if you want to have uh, connected to anything else. Uh, I don't know, you can use your imagination, but I am going to show you how to operate it. It's pretty straightforward. With this nozzle on the top, you slightly turn like almost nothing, so a little bit of the gas starts coming out, and then you press the trigger. Once you press the trigger, it's, it's lit and ready to go. Now you have two options. You can either turn the nozzle on the top to have more power, like so, or if you just want full power and so forth, on the bottom here, there's another trigger as you can see. There's a trigger to light it up and start, and this one here is a full power trigger. Basically, madness. You push it down and... Yeah. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Yeah, Angel, you Angel is going like this. <laughs> Do it again. Are you sure? I know I sound like a mad scientist. Let's get back to it. Anyway, everybody, this is super exciting to light it off, everybody. No big deal. Just close the nozzle and that's it. This is the grill gun. But I say, it is enough talking and let's sear some stuff and eat, right, Angel? We're hungry and we'll be right back. So let's sear some steaks, man. Let's go. everybody so this is the grill gun as you saw it there it is good it is pretty much the same thing as I have the little one but like you already know this one was built for me by one of my subscribers you are not able to get it I think this is the number one question I get in every video I show this little thing here but because it was built for me you can't get it now this one here you still can't get it. I know, I know, everybody's gonna. <laughs> but hey, here's the deal. This is a prototype. He's building this for all of you, for everyone. And he has a Kickstarter that I think that if you guys are interested, just like I am, 
We should support it so that everyone that does sous vide can sear with a searing serious champion. By the way, if you have not seen the Searing Series uh, competition, you gotta check it out, everybody. But he is basically getting a Kickstarter page so that you guys can go in, support it, and we can all have one of these. The interesting thing about it is that he's gonna have a long barrel with this, like this, and also a shorter barrel, smaller for like indoors or whatever it might be that you wanna use it in the house. It's gonna be much smaller. I don't know exactly how much smaller it is, but it is one that will be designated specifically only for sous vide. And when you go, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can check it out. It will be there on the website so you can see both sides, uh, sizes, all right? But anyway, I hope you guys go check it out and make a pledge so that we can make one of this for everyone that uses sous vide. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more exciting things like this, let me know everybody, I love to make a video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. See you on the next one. Take care, bye bye. And we got the airplane coming, Angel. Don't worry about the airplane, do the thing again. The do big, what? The big pyromaniac thing. You wanna see it again, Angel? Yeah. <laughs> Angel wanna see it again, everybody. <laughs> Angel wanna see it again. Just like like this or you want the real nah, deal? Nah, huh? give me, give me. That don't play everybody, it's the same thing as mine. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.